Yo people, LSM here, this time to talk about Kurio Kihime Bride, uh, some clarification before I start talking about herself. So I will call her Bride only, I will not say Kurio Kihime, because it's easier to understand that way. So Because uh, there are four Kurio Kihimes in the game, we have Main, Butterfly, Bride and Support. So by calling her Bride, I don't need to specify her every time I say Kurio Kihime. Uh, some trivia about her is that she was the first limited character that we could get on Quantum Quotes free in the game. If you pulled on Butterfly Banner uh, the first time she appears on December, yeah, I think it was December that was the uh, banner of Butterfly. When Richard's Valentine, you would get Bride for free in the same heritage that you got Butterfly. Uh, another thing is that her translation uh, when she came was terrible. Uh, the last line that came here at the bottom of my heart, it was such a mess as translation that said button of my heart. It was very funny. So let's stop with the trivia and talk about Butter uh, Bride. So, the game says that uh, Bride is a mid damage dealer, and I don't think I agree with the game. So, for her exclusive talent, you can see here that I don't have it because it's very bad, so let's talk about it. So, Bride's exclusive talent is Sacred Howl, and what it does is that attack plus and regen effect of enemies are reduced. It gets us 25% and it's multiplicative, multi, multiplicative, uh, hard words, it's not additive, so let's say that it is a damage buff of 15%, like an uh, enemy Tomoka. With Bride, uh, she's at max level, it would be like 37, yeah, 37%, so it's a very underwhelming effect. And I don't need, uh, need to talk about regeneration because enemies don't heal. They, they are HP are too high for heals to matter. And if they activate a regen effect, it may be like 200 each turn, it's like nothing. Even on max level enemies, they don't regenerate HP. So now let's talk about her stats. Uh, Bride, Bride, sadly doesn't have uh, the highest attack possible. She is stuck at 1,728. Her speed is considered slow, but you can say it's a medium speed, but on the slower side. Uh, for her stats, uh, as we talked before, attack is everything, and she doesn't have the highest, but at least it's not the lowest that you can find, but still is very low compared to others that have higher attack than herself. But it's not the worst thing that you can fight, and her Psyche will help her damage as well, but that we'll talk about later. Now for her skills, uh, we have a zero skill point, regen for everyone, when I say everyone, I mean everyone, not your, your allies. So, Candle of Oat, it's a regeneration for two turns that provides uh, your allies and enemy with the regeneration effect. Uh, the enemy getting this effect is important because of Bride's gimmick. I don't recommend this skill. Regeneration is very weak, and you want to cast a standard heal instead of regen effect. Now for her second skill, we have Romantic Gift, three skill point, mid, bleed. And this starts the train whack. Wasn't enough for her skill 1 to be bad. Her skill 2 is a single target bleed. So the damage is like a 2 skill point. So it's low. And the bleed is quite strong, but it only lasts for one turn. And the reason is that if the enemy that she is attacking, in case this one is the mid, have a removable buff that her skill 1 gives with the regen effect. She, she makes the blade last for 2 turns, which is quite decent, but still, you would like a 3 skill point per damage instead of bleed, because bleed is terrible. Uh, something to note is that 
uh, her exclusive talent also affects her regeneration on enemy, so this effect will be weaker on the enemy side. Now for her climax skill, we have a 6 climax point, mid frail. The damage is like a 3 skill point on max level. Uh, it's a little higher if you're not mistaken. 285 is for 3 skill points and her climax is 288. So the damage is low and the frail is very low too, only 36%. We have uh, uh, stronger frails by, uh, but with more damage, like Kimono Asuna with her 8 climax point, 40 frail, and more damage. Still, uh, it lasts for 1 turn, but if the enemy have a removal buff, it lasts for 2 turns, which is a cool gimmick, but not really worth 6 climax points to use. Now let's see her skills animation in action. Here we are in battle, so for her skill 1, everyone got a regeneration. Now for skill 2, as you can see the enemy have a removal buff, so the bleed will last 2 turns. Two turns of bleed, but as I said on every video, Bleed is terrible, so don't use it. Now for her climax skill, mid frail. Yeah, the damage is like a 3 skill point. As you can see here, 2 turns of frail. So something to note here is that unlike Kimonosuna's exclusive talent, or others frail talents, uh, bride uh, 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 climax skill is a removable frail. So if your ally have Muramasa or herself have Muramasa, you can do more damage against this target in specific. But still, is a single target uh, weak frail that costs six climax point. So it's not worth more above. Uh, Simple 3 skill point frail that you can use on every character that you have with a frail supporter. Now for Bride's cross skill, sadly she only have one, but it at least it's a good cross, but the problem is that it's a here damage 3 skill point instead of mid. So the damage the standard single target damage of a 3 skill point, which will hit uh, mostly the same damage as her climax if the frail doesn't work on an enemy for some reason. At least uh, her herself and her cross partner are farmable. So let's see the cross in action. Uh, first I need to say that I don't have Coco build, so the damage will be very low, but stay standard uh, 3 skill point for the here enemy. Uh, the cool thing is that the Buketa they use change when they she when Coco throws to Kuryohime uh, to Bride, and she cats with her magic instead of, instead of using her hands to slap the enemy. Now for Br Bride Awakens effect, uh, first of all, Awaken one, her regeneration gets stronger which uh, is mostly meaning that it does nothing for herself. For Awakening 3, her exclusive talent now reduces the, eff the effect of defense up, but still, uh, if you are dealing with defense up, just bring a spell. her exclusive talent will not help enough. And for Awakening 5, she can use her climax skill two times in battle. This was actually cool to have, but you don't use to her want to use her climax skill most of the time. Now for something that uh, the last character that I did a review also have a exclusive equipment for herself. So Bride got a buff on a exclusive equipment to help her being less let's say useless. So her equip effect says that when a character uses a Climax that costs 6 climax point. 
the enemy will have a frail removable by the way of 42 percent for one turn uh, you can stand this with uh, a vermilion bird's weapon so when she uses her climax skill she will get 36 by her climax al alone and 42 for the equipment effect so it's a uh, almost 80 80 yeah 80 80 percent frail with a cool number but still uh at least support have better numbers than the, her climax with the equipment set uh, something to note that we can't count this uh exclusive equipment anymore because we have another character that can use the effect and it's summer aqua because her climax form 2 also costs 6 climax point so when you use uh, summer aqua you can use Kuryo bride equipment for her climax to get a frail effect which is kinda cool uh, something to notice about that is if you, you use uh, uh, main uh, elementum you can reduce the climax cost of certain characters and when you use a uh, let's pick here Kirito where is he? Kirito boy here when you equip Kirito with Bride's equipment and use his climax at 6 climax point with Kuryuki Himeme Elementum the frail effect will only work on the front enemy the here and mid enemy will not receive the frail which is kinda boring because it would be cool if you could do that for uh, Arya because you could use Kimono Asuna on her own frail climax to get uh, another 42% frail on everyone which would be fu funny as a meme but I don't think it would be that good since Ouroboros is a thing but still it's a good buff for herself because it's stronger uh, it's stronger than her home frail it doubles the effect but not enough to make her relevant now for her psych she have the strongest in the game she have final damage at a high number she have crit rate a low number but doesn't matter much she have crit damage at a decent number and she have full attack stat this is the most nuts uh, Besides in the entire game, the best stats that you can find But still is not enough for herself because her stats are too low But the art are beautiful Look at this This is gorgeous Yeah, I definitely using this as the uh, The main image of the, the video I am sure of it <laughs> Now let's talk about the reason why I did this video and it's that Bride got an uh, Elementium for her own so first of all let's talk about her module she have Snow Black Splash if the parry have any variation of Haryuki for those who don't know is the mid frailer the big that is also a silver crow yeah if you have any variation of him in the team just like Misaki in Stoma so Butterfly will buff every buff in the game that is generic So damage dealt will go up Attack, crit, crit damage So this thing here is crit rate, I don't know why it isn't showing So crit rate and crit damage by 21% Caps at 30% on max level So when I say that she buffs everything I mean everything If you go on characters like Alice and look at her exclusive talent she have a uh, damage increase on her talent uh, here she have damage increase bride will increase this effect it will be stronger if you go on let's say where is her uh, Mikoto uh, limited version her elementium have a crit effect bride will boost this crit effect if you go on uh, herself where she have her, clima, her crit rate, Bride will also boost this effect. If you go 
on your impression weapons. Let's say here, you go to Indra. Skill, crit rate, crit damage, butterfly will boost this effect. If you go on Idun, effect, more attack, but bride will buff this effect. So it's a elementum, a module that buffs every generic buff in the game, which is kind of nice, but uh, doesn't help herself as a unit. She's there, and everyone gets better exclusive talent, better impressive weapons. Uh, I am not sure if this works on equipment equipment effects, but I think it doesn't because uh, equipment says they are more specific on skills with four costs or more those things but maybe work for equips i am not sure about that but i know that uh, uh, the damage up buff needs to be generic so if it says skill 2 skill 1 climax support skill those doesn't work you need to say damage up no, nothing before nothing after the damage up only damage up for it to work but still it's a very good effect and it's a it tries to herself so that she doesn't need to be uh, quote unquote useless in the battle now for her elemental effects uh, you can get uh, two for free you can pick uh, love transcend death or face the past for free and this one you need to buy with one soul for this slot so first face the pass. Uh, in a battle, if there are any other main variation of Kuryokihime, so butterfly and main, her her when she uses her climax skill, all frails in the enemy will be boosted by 70%, caps at 150. So if you go for her Let's speak here. Her climax. This will be two times two two times stronger. A little more than two times. I have a image here of the freight that you can get. As you can see here, her climax skill is 90%, and her equipment equipment effect is 150. So if three Kuryokihime is in battle. Her frail, her climax frail is almost 200%. So it's quite funny to see this uh, up. Uh, but still, you need uh, all three to be in battle. I only have two, so I can show the max amount of uh, frail that it can, can do. Still, it's a meme. It's a meme effect. If you want to have some fun with three Kuryokimis in the field, pick this thing and you can go nuts with some frail effects. Now for the other two effects, let me change it here. We need this one and we need this one. Okay. So, Love Transcends Death in battle our allies enemy gain removable, love stance and death, that increase crit damage by almost 70%. This, this number here is buffed by her elementum, and something to lose that, yeah, it have uh, no duration, it will be there forever. So, Bride doesn't need to use her skill 1 anymore for her two turns of bleed, or for her two turns of climax frail. Which, which helps here very well because it was very annoying to use skill 1 every turn before you needed to use her climax skill. It, it was very bad, you can't, uh, you can't understand without trying to do a rotation with herself. You, this is a great improvement for herself as a character. Now for the second one, we have eat dinner together every day. So in battle, if there are any variation of Haruki, again, just like her module, Bride will generate one climax point every turn, and she will not be affected or 
by effects that increases or decreases her climax cost. Uh, why is that important? As you see, her climax cost 6 and her exclusive equipment says that the climax skill used needs to be 6. The problem is that when you are using 3 Kuryukimes, uh, main elementium decreases climax cost by 2 for everyone that have the gamer tag player tag yeah player tag so if you if you have any of these people in your team being it main or support uh, the main character that they are will have reduced climax cost and you don't want that to happen to bride so that's why she have a, a immunity to change the climax cost so that her equipment her equipment effect can work without problem and the climax generation is very good because since you don't want uh, to use her own skills, she needs at least a battery to be useful in battle. Still, I don't think that she is considered, let's see, good in the game. She is a A candy that's not useless anymore. It's quite fun to stack uh, her module with other buffs because you get some funny numbers. But unless someone gets to make a triple Kuryokimi team meta in some way on a single target or area DD, I don't think that is much of worth building here. I got her elementum because I like to collect uh, climax and skill point effects, but besides that, I think she is a skip in the game. You, you can survive without her. She is a eye candy. That is a good one because her hearts are gorgeous. She is beautiful. And if you like her, you can go for her. At least the banner is a limited banner, so you have the pity. Oh, wait, not here. This one. You can get her with pity if you pull for 34 times. And since she will do zero damage by herself, her damage is very low. You can survive with rank A, her exclusive talent is bad, so you don't want to use it. And her elemental is strong, probably one of the strongest or the strongest element in the entire game because of how much it does, but just to, it just proves that uh, you need something very, very overpowered to make a character terrible like Bride to be relevant in at least something. But if you build her, you like to use her, at least pick the better effect. Uh, for one soul, those two buffs and her module are a great value. But if you are short on souls, you can skip. And that's it, people. This was Bride. Next video, uh, someday, I guess. Goodbye.